Well, the partnerships between the U.S. and Indonesia are one of the most important in the world, bridging the ASEAN region with one of the largest economies in the world. But how has that developed in the past year, especially during these very challenging times? We'll discuss further with the U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia, His Excellency, Mr. Ambassador Sung Kim. Thank you so much for giving your time to talk with us. It's great to be with you. Thank you so much. Now, um, this month marks one year since you've become named the United States Ambassador to Indonesia. Now, Indonesia is arguably one of the most important mm -hmm. allies to the U.S., and so is the U.S. to Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Now, in this past year, we've received visits from the, uh, from the Foreign Minister of uh, the United States. Mm -hmm. There has been a large joint military drill as well. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about some of the other foreign policy goals that you and the U.S. have with Indonesia, and what has it been like in this past year, Mr. Ambassador? Well, thanks very much. Uh, great to be with you and with your viewership. And first of all, let me tell you how excited I am to be serving as the United States Ambassador to Indonesia. As you mentioned, this is a very special relationship. It's a relationship that matters to both countries. So I'm excited and thrilled and honored to be serving as the U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia. There are many exciting, um, important aspects to the relationship. Uh, there's, of course, the defense cooperation that really helps promote security in the region. Uh, there's economic and trade ties um, that I hope to discuss a bit more in detail later. Um, we also have strong cooperation on climate. And frankly, there's no greater challenge to the global community now than climate. Uh, so we're excited that we're working together so closely on those important issues. Right. So as you mentioned, there are many a different variety of issues that Indonesia mm -hmm. and the U.S. are cooperating on. But if I could just ask, if you could just assess the differences in foreign policy and relationship with Indonesia, especially with the changes of the administration mm -hmm. in this past year during your tenure, could you please explain more? Well, I would say, having worked on the U.S. government's Asia policy for many years, right. I think Washington has always realized the importance, recognized the importance of the Indo-Pacific region. And within the region, particularly important uh, and leader, leading countries like Indonesia. So the US government across different administrations has focused on uh, and strengthened our ties uh, with different countries in the Indo-Pacific region. And we intend to continue to do that in the new Biden administration. Um. Arguably, you could say that the United States is opening up more mm. these, uh, in, this, in this current administration. With that in mind, what is Indonesia's position in this, in terms of, uh, in terms of the United States opening up more, especially in the ASEAN region? Well, we very much view Indonesia uh, as a leading country in the Southeast Asia region uh, right. and within ASEAN. Um, and this is why we're so excited to be working with Indonesia on a whole host of issues, regional issues as well as global issues, mm -hmm. because we b believe very strongly that Indonesia can uh, contribute greatly to finding solutions to some of the biggest challenges we have globally. Right. And one of those challenges, of course, right now is the COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. And of course, um, you were named the U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia during the global COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. So talk to us about the partnerships between the U.S. and Indonesia on the fight against the pandemic. What has been the most challenging and what has been the most remarkable? This is clearly a difficult time for all of us. Uh, and that's why I'm so proud of the work that we have done together with our Indonesian partners um, to, deal with, to deal more effectively with the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. You know, vaccine, vaccination is key. Um, and I'm really glad that the United States has been able to support Indonesia in such important ways on vaccines. To start with, we have donated 13.4 million doses of Moderna and Pfizer vaccines to Indonesia. Uh, we have also supported capacity building. USAID, US Agency for International Development, has had a number of projects here, long-standing projects, to help the Indonesian medical sector develop its, its cap capabilities and capacity. We've also donated ventilators uh, that are being used in hospitals across the country. So many different ways that we have supported and cooperated with uh, Indonesia, uh, and we look forward to continuing to do so. I should mention that sort of beyond uh, just our work with Indonesia, um, the United States is the largest uh, contributor to COVAX, the international vaccine effort, uh, I think well over $4 billion. 
President Biden has also announced recently that the U.S. will be donating 1.1 billion doses of uh, Pfizer vaccines uh, to the international uh, distribution. So we're doing a lot because uh, we recognize that no one is really safe until everyone is safe. Right. And um, you were mentioning, of course, that the U.S. has contributed almost over 13 million vaccines mm -hmm. to Indonesia, including Pfizer and Moderna, which we are, of course, very grateful mm -hmm. for because vaccines are very important mm -hmm. in the fight against the pandemic. But if I may just ask, is there any f plans regarding Indonesia specifically to provide uh, more vaccines? Because vaccination rate here is quite good. Sure. No, I, I have to applaud the Indonesian government's efforts to vaccinate as many people as quickly as possible. I had a chance to visit a vaccine clinic uh, here. It was great to see the robust activity at the clinic uh, and getting as many people vaccinated as quickly as possible. Yes, we do, we do plan to uh, donate more vaccines to Indonesia. I don't have the details yet, but uh, I think I believe in the coming weeks and months, we'll be making uh, more donations of vaccines. Okay. Well, we are very grateful for that, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want to also ask you um, regarding the vaccine development in mm -hmm. Indonesia as well. An Indonesian pharmaceutical company recently signed an MOU with some American companies on oh. cooperations and research on vaccine production. To your knowledge, are there any further plans regarding Indonesia's development on vaccines and the United States' role in that? Yeah, I know that the uh, Indonesian government and Indonesian companies are very interested uh, yeah. in forming a vaccine partnership with U.S. companies, and they are in talks with U.S. companies. I think I would defer to uh, the entities directly involved in the talks to describe where they are and their ongoing discussions. Uh, from my perspective, I think it would be great uh, if we could uh, form a partnership related to vaccines and bring some of the production here. That, that would be a wonderful development.